Zambia in 2015, along with other United Nations member states, signed up to the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, which the country is mandated to achieve by the year 2030 in order to acquire a prosperous middle income status. To achieve this, the country has set up national development plans which are to act as guidelines towards the achievement of Vision 2030. The country's seventh national development plan, which has directed its development path over the past five years, comes to an end in December 2021, and government has engaged various stakeholders to get views on what should be set as priority areas in the Earth National Development Plan. The Earth National Development Plan will run from 2022 to 2026 under the theme Reform and Recovery, Due to the regression the coronavirus pandemic has brought to many areas, various stakeholders such as the United Nations UN, civil society organizations, as well as the academic sector who joined the meeting virtually, have made various submissions. These include prioritization of the education sector, creating real industrialization, and reducing the cost of living. The United Nations has also placed full support to ensure the attainment of the Earth National Development Plan as this is key to achieving Vision 2030 of development. Ministry of National Development Planning Permanent Secretary in charge of Administration Chola Chabala has acknowledged receipt of the submissions and also states that the country will prioritize, among other areas, enhancement of the energy sector, ensuring private sector engagement in the economy in order to increase the country's gross domestic product, and formalization of the economy. So we recognize the need uh, to uh, deal with the issues of inadequate access to productive resources, uh, limited uh, skills have been affecting our levels of productivity, particularly as it, uh, I mean, as it relates to labor productivity in the country. There's been uh, an identified need to expand the production and supply of energy in the country. Then there's need to reconfigure the economy. It's been felt that the economy is highly uh, informalized and that is also um, affecting the prospects of broadening the tax uh, uh, base. So whatever it is that can be done to put in structures and innovative ways of helping the economy migrate to, from uh, being highly informal to being formal would be, uh, be helpful to the economy. Zipora Mushala, Movie TV News, Lusaka.